of Billy Tubbs. Is it a walk? No. We've got a foul, a reach in. They'll call him the young man who's getting the start. Instead of Williams today. And now they're going to say it's on Martin. Okay, the Hawk picks it up. Tony Martin. Young man from Manual Arts High School in Los Angeles. There's Larry Johnson. At times they almost go to him too often. Anthony tries to tie it. It's all even in Norman. The two guards for UNLV, not known as great three-point shooters. But, but Terry both Evans outstanding ball it. handlers. Joel, Terry Evans can do it. As I said, he's the biggest surprise in the whole career of Billy Tubbs. And Billy Tubbs has been around a long time. He was redshirted last year. And the reason he was redshirted, obviously because of Mookie Blaylock. Ball called away from the ball on James Jones, holding on to Tony Martin down low. Fresh 45 of the shot clock for Oklahoma. It's tied at three. Jones almost with the inbound steal. They'll try it one more time. The trigger man is Terry Evans, who Al has been talking about. Evans' father, a former assistant coach at Oklahoma, under John McLeod, was recently fired by the Dallas Mavericks. Patterson did a good job to gain possession. That's where Martin likes to work, and he's rejected. Weak side help. UNLV looking for the break. Anderson Hunt foul before he can release it. Terry Evans. Picking up the foul on the hand check, but at the opposite end, some good help from UNLV from the weak side. Jones comes across. Here he comes, coming across. He gets up. Hawk can't readjust the shot. So give Jones a blocked shot. 68 seconds into the game. It's tied at three. Greg Anthony frees up Hunt for a three-point try. Larry Johnson with a rebound. Slapped away by Skeeter Henry's long arms and picked up by Terry Evans. They're doubling down on Larry Johnson. Tony Martin gives the Sooners the lead. Tony. Anderson Hunt on the break. Whoa! He took a shot from Tony Martin. Anderson Hunt will be going to the line to shoot two. Tony Martin is not supposed to be able to shoot from this far out. His nickname is the Hawk. But it's all net. Watch Hunt. He almost gets undercut here. Keeps his eye up in the rim. Comes down, but he jumps up right away. He's not a hot dog. He's not a showboat. Usually when a guy goes down and rolls on the floor for a while, then gets up, that's usually a tendency of being a showboat. That's a big blow, though, for Oklahoma. They lose now. Tony Martin, their starting center, who just picked up his second personal foul. Now they get their leading score into the game very early. Minute and 32 seconds of the contest. Billy Tubbs' hand is fourth. He's got to bring in William Davis for Tony Martin. Now, Davis did not even practice yesterday for Billy Tubbs. No, he practiced Thursday. It'll take him maybe two or three minutes to get that, um, that ankle going. It's the left ankle. Anderson Hunt getting one of two. It's a one-point Oklahoma lead. Posting up Davis. He likes to operate inside. He's rejected by Jones. Second block in the early going for James Jones. Stacey Ogden really improved his offensive game last year with 41 three-pointers. The nice. dish off, great feed by Hunt, but Ogden can't finish the play. Odd man to man. You're watching excellent defense by the Rebels. Patterson with a solid position inside. Oklahoma leads it by three. Got away with a walk that time. Two teams really like to take chances defensively, Al. They love to double up. Anderson Hunt with a 15-footer. Number 12, Anderson Hunt scores for the run. The Anderson. officials are from the ACC. He did not let Davis post up like that. Jump ball between Johnson and Davis. Alternating possession roll, and it belongs to Oklahoma, but... They need to help out underneath. And now, Skeeter Henry getting into it a little bit with Larry Johnson. Skeeter, Skeeter. That's the wrong person. Uh, here's the tie up here underneath. 
and this creates a little pushing and shoving between Johnson and Skeeter Henry. You don't fool with Larry Johnson if you have the body Ooh. of Skeeter Henry. Greg Anthony is fouled by Terry Evans, and then he slams the ball into the chest of Terry Evans, the freshman. I think these referees should call a, uh, a ref's timeout, talk to each coaches, and talk to the ball players. The game is getting a little out of control, and only in two and a half minutes into it. And now that's the second foul on the real floor leader, Terry Evans, the point guard for Oklahoma. Fourth team foul on the Sooners. Seven, of course, UNLV's in the bonus situation. Larry Johnson hammered from behind by Jackie Jones, and those two are chirping a little bit. These two saw each other twice last year, Al. Both were two-point wins for Oklahoma. Yeah. Here's coming right at us. He fakes out Jones. Jones immediately double-teamed. They rotate down, and there's the foul from the backside on Jones. There's a lot of chatter back and forth. This is the refs should talk to the coaches and to the ball players. Otherwise, you're going to have a little alley fight here, a little fisticuffs. And both coaches, Billy Dubs and Jerry Tarkanian, get along very well. They realize that this series is great for both schools. Tarkanian has lost three straight times to Tubbs, but only by a total of five points. Right now, it's a one-point Oklahoma lead. 17 minutes and 11 seconds left of the first half. UNLV coming into the game has only been able to hit 67% of their free throws. Larry Johnson did a smart thing that time. You missed the free throw, get off the line, and reset. All net. It's tied at seven. First point of the game for the leading scorer for the UNLV run-in Rebels, Larry Johnson, who averages 24 a contest. Davis posting up and rejected again. Third block in the early going for James Jones. Willie Davis goes down low. He uses his space-eating body. He's very strong. Watch him go down low. He'll take Jones down low. Then he tries to grunt it in. Jones is more fluid, all leather. Oklahoma does not really have a true center. Tony Martin, the closest thing to replacing Stacey King for them at the low post position. This is uh, Wirtz, Lenny Wirtz, good. This should have been done now, what should happen. He should allow 30 seconds for these coaches to speak to their ball players. This game, this early, is out of control. Now Lenny's saying, okay, talk. Stay on your half of the court. Now, let's see what Lenny does. No, he doesn't talk to the, the ball players. The and ball the players, they, yeah, the ball players need talking to. Because there has been a lot of banter back and forth. Nine and seven, exactly three minutes into the contest. They get it inside. Jackie Jones jump hook. Nice cut. A two-point advantage for Oklahoma. Full Oklahoma. court pressure. They like to run a one-three-one, a one-two-one-one, or straight man pressure in the backcourt. And not that's not the man they want to handle the ball out front, Larry Johnson. Well, Joel, this is the quickest team Oklahoma has ever had. And one of the reasons is they don't have a center. They caught him that time. He got away with a walk earlier. Coming into the game, Al, Oklahoma has forced their opposition into 44 turnovers a game over the first three. I don't count those three games. <laughs> if, he, if he has a problem, an albatross, Larry Johnson, is turnovers. He leads the team in turnovers. He has 17 in the first four games. Ooh, downtown. Three for Jones. He can't find it. Augment with the rebound. Fortunately for the Rebels, he dropped the ball, or he could have been called for a walk. Trying to get Johnson freed up down low. Augment has to add to the offense. Tough break on the 15-footer. And it's off the hands of Skeeter Henry, belonging to UNLV. Now listen up to this. If UNLV is going to win, they got to score at least 10 putbacks off their own backboard. That's the offensive backboard. That means after the missed shot, they go in there, either Augman or um, Johnson or Jones, and put the ball back in to get it. You need 10 of them for the reps to win. Larry Johnson working one-on-one -on -one against Jackie Jones. They're going to have to help out Jones on that low block. Some weak side support. It's tied again at nine. Out of bounds off Oklahoma. Pressure that time pays off for UNLV as it was last touched by Skeeter Henry. We'll be right back to Norman. With that, we'll be talking with the athletic director at the University of Oklahoma, Donnie Duncan, about the recent allegations regarding the Oklahoma football program. And we'll also 
check in with Al McGuire for Al's top 10 in this college basketball season. And welcome back to Norman once again as Smokey McCovery comes into the game. Smokey out of LaPorte, Texas, a junior college transfer. Smokey came out of the same junior college as Mookie Blaylock, who is now working in the NBA for the New Jersey Nets. Where's Mookie's old number? You think he's superstitious? Goes by the nickname Smokey, just like Mookie used the nickname as Larry Johnson is short of the shot, but follows his own. Up. And gives UNLV the lead. They and need a nine final... more of those, Joel, <laughs> to win this game. <laughs> and we've got a violation in the backcourt. I or do we have a foul? A technical. Yes, a technical on Billy Jumps. Billy thought that um, Larry Johnson took a walk on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. That's a two shot. Everything in tech goes to this year are two shots. Greg Anthony has hit 75% of his free throws coming into the game today. It's UNLV different. UNLV had their problems last year at the free throw line. It's different when you're shooting with no one on the line. Here's the play quickly. The ball's put up. Fouls up his own. Gives the head and shoulder fake. Right there, Philly thought that he walked. There'll be more technicals before this game's over. Rebels right now on an 8-2 oh, run. Peter Henry takes it away from Greg Anthony. Henry, the distance. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, Anderson that's intentional. Hunt. That's intentional. Matter of fact, they should have called the foul on Anthony earlier. He, he tried to trip him. He, well, no, he pushed Gita earlier. Their I'm, heels got mixed up, too. Hey, I'm telling you, someone has to speak to these ball players. The coaches now have been spoken to. Hunt and Anthony both getting a piece of Henry. They call it on Greg Anthony. There is some talent out there. These are all great, great players. Oklahoma's good. Oklahoma, in my opinion, is a sweet 16 team. Here's the push. Now, here's the cut across. And that should be an intentional with the ball out. Exactly Two shots that. and intentional. They are now calling it an intentional foul on Anthony. Sooners will take the two free throws and get the ball out of bounds. Skeeter at 6'7 brings an awful lot to the guard position. He can also play small forward. He's the one who makes it happen here at the Lloyd Noble Center. They have a Skeeter meter here for Skeeter Henry. When he's going, so is the crowd. Tarkanian can't believe the last call. As it's now a 12 to 11 contest, UNLV by one. But the Sooners with the ball. McCovery, the only substitution so far. For Oklahoma, say free up Davis. It's going up. If William gets it down on the block slow like that, it's pretty much an automatic with Jones covering. Right now we're on a pace for a game in the 90s, the low 90s. 14.45 left in the first half. Johnson using the glass. Smokey McCovery with the rebound. Double team. Should get it over to Henry. Jones likes to take three pointers. Davis with the follow. And the rebound off the hands of Ogden. Picked up by Greg Anthony, leading the two on one, and throws it right to McCovery. He had Hunt. Loose ball, Johnson. Can't get it. And it's off of James Jones, Jackie Jones, out of bounds in a wild sequence. Yep. About 20 seconds ago, here's where William Davis got position on Jones. Gives him a slight elbow. Automatic deuce. Lob it in the middle. Larry Johnson. Knocked away by Patterson. And a foul from behind on Anderson Hunt. A frustration foul. Oh, I thought they were going to call that foul that time on Larry Johnson. But they laid it on Hunt. You've just joined us. A lot of talking back and forth between the two teams. Anytime they blow the whistle, these two teams seem to be playing verbal volleyball. 14-14 left in the first half. The Sooners with the ball in a one-point lead. They come back in with Tony Martin, who has two personal fouls on him. McGovery for three. Both teams having their problems from the field in the early going. Patterson will try a three-pointer. Rebound. James Jones. Good pass to find Augment, and he's followed by Skeeter Henry. 
hammered just a little bit. That was kind of a senseless foul. That was a tough basket to make. The momentum was taking you out. You're still about eight feet off on a, on a difficult angle. So it was a, uh, a foolish foul from the back watch. He'll kick the ball over Greg Will. Well, that's a tough shot to make with that momentum. Foolish foul. Ogman off balance, floating. Gets a break and goes to the free throw line to shoot two. Stacy Ogman. Stacy's been kind of flat. He's been in the drought so far in this game. Stacy Ogman could be the best offensive rebounder in the country. Last year, he got the award for the best defensive player. He, he beat out uh, Blaylock. He also beat out Morning from Georgetown. Good morning, America. The winner of the Henry Iba Award, the nation's top defensive player. Terry Evans back into the Oklahoma lineup with two personal fouls. So Evans on the floor and Martin on the floor for the Sooners. Both with two fouls apiece. And now UNLV after that free throw by Augment. Four of eight at the line. They're not lighting up the scoreboard because the game is too physical. These two teams like to open it up. They don't want to play half court. Bang it offense inside. But thrown away by Henry. Interception for Greg Anthony. And Augment walks with the ball. But Ogden made a mistake that time. I think that you're on a fast break. Always to give the ball on the first pass to another guard if possible, not to a forward. I would kick it off to the right side to Hunt. William Davis leading the scorer for the Sooners, averaging 26 a game back into the lineup. And coming in now, Barry Young, three-point specialist for the running Rebels of UNLV. He's a swing kind of guy. can play off guard or small forward at 6'7". He's a swing guy, Joel. That means if he misses his first two shots, he swings back onto the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Davis getting a good position inside is fouled. And Greg Anthony almost picking up a technical foul. Well, everything after this is one and one. They called the foul on Larry Johnson. Anthony thought he was going to be called for the reach in. Game plan is to get Johnson in foul trouble, wear down the Rebs, and take advantage of their thin bench in the second half. That will all change, though, for UNLV, as David Butler and Moses Curry become academically eligible on the 17th of this month. Joel Butler is a true All-American. He, he really is Mr. Mattis. He, he's outstanding. Uh, Moses Scurry's more of a banger, a, a space eater, a sumo wrestler, uh, but tough inside. One of two at the free throw line for Davis. And a one-point lead for Oklahoma. Anthony almost throws it away. Young wants it. Here it goes. Oh, I'm surprised. And it's almost thrown away in the Young wasn't expecting the pass. He was upset with himself not taking the shot three seconds earlier. Another turnover committed by UNLV. There is sixth over the first seven minutes. Exactly 13 minutes left in the first 20 minutes of play. Good to have you with us at the Lloyd Noble Center in Norman, Oklahoma. The Hawk, Tony Martin. And over his way for two. And now they call him the Hawk, not because of his big wingspan, but because of his nose. I asked him, can I talk about your nose today? He says, no, talk positive, talk positive. <laughs> so I said, okay, Hawk, I won't talk about your nose. Larry Johnson for three. Ooh, touchdown. Even. That'll give him the confidence. He really does have good touch, though. There's such a strong physical player inside. It goes at 6'6", 250. Well, you're not seeing a true Larry Johnson yet. We're going to see him when the centers come back. Davis working on Johnson. Johnson with one foul already. Nice head move. Five points for William Davis. Oh, that's it. A shove by Anthony and a foul on the backcourt. Yeah, not, nice, nice, uh, annoying foul by Smokey. Pressure paying off once again for Oklahoma. Yeah. Well, they kick it back into Davis here. Just gives a little head and shoulder fake. Larry doesn't want to pick up the second personal. Now here's recovery. See Smokey, he's overplaying Greg. Greg pushes off. The Zebra's right there. Lenny Worse. Foolish play. The crowd has sold out one at the Noble Center into it with the Sooners. Larry Johnson, the transfer from Odessa Junior College, a special day for him. His mother, Dortha Johnson, here in Norman, taking the contest today. So, 
First time she has seen him perform for the Running Rebels of UNLV. And welcome back to the Lloyd Noble Center. Joel Myers along with Al McGuire is Terry Evans. Had ideas from three. Much bigger, 6'7", very young, guarding him, though. Skeeter Henry on the opposite side. Watch the pressure they put on Sianovic if he touches the ball. It's a double team down low. There's Sianovic. They'll attack him. Sianovic is in there. He's not a scoring threat. He's a playmaker. James Jones gets the roll. And he got himself a cry at that time. Sianovic is in there as Evans goes up with a three. Now, this looks more like the game we expected, Al, as Evans gets the three-pointer and gives Oklahoma a six-point advantage because they're banging a lot in the early going. And UNLV already with five team fouls. That's got to hurt them. It's got to hurt UNLV because they have a thin bench. Long bench, you like a physical game. Jones again. All the baskets they get from Jones, the Rebs, is a bonus. He doesn't shoot off. He only takes about four or five shots a game. Smoking up Calvary, working one-on-one -on -one against Stacey Sianovic. Once again, the biggest lead so far for the Sooners. And Smokey's playing with a bad right ankle. That's going up. That's very young. He comes off the bench for that exact reason for three-point tries. Evans leading the break. Good vision to find Skeeter Henry. McCovery, not close. And Sianovic all alone underneath for the rebound. 10.45 left in the first half. Sianovic out there because of the three fouls on Greg Anthony. They've got to start picking up Jones. Three times now, Jones has been left unattended. He well, brings the Rebels back within four. Well, they won't pull a man out from underneath because they always want to double down on uh, Johnson. And Johnson moving up to the high post. Larry Johnson drawing the foul on William Davis. They were just jostling underneath. Now both teams are in a one-on-one, -on -one and we still got over 10 minutes to go in the first half. The referees are trying to control this game. Tough game to control. The ACC refs are doing a good job. Duke and Michigan, as you saw that score, between two top 10 teams in the first half. Very difficult for a team to repeat an NCAA championship, college, pro, high school. And uh, that's why I picked Illinois to win the Big Ten and Michigan to come in second. Big Eight has to be considered one of the toughest conferences in the country as well with Oklahoma so good this year. And Missouri, one of the top five teams in the country as well as Kansas. Oh, Kansas, number six in the country. The top four, I would say, top four teams in any conference should have to go with the Big Eight. You and don't play the Big Eight unless they get you on national TV. <laughs> Larry Johnson with nine points misses the free throw. That was a lane violation. They'll get one more. That was a breakdown in concentration. No one should miss a free throw by that much. Lane violation. With one more shot. Stepping in too soon. The Hawks stepped in too soon down there on the left-hand side. As the concentration came back. Johnson capitalizes on the situation, has 10 as he's now three of four at the free throw line. Four to nothing run by UNLV. Brings him back within two. Jackie Jones, got the touch. Can't get the roll, though. He can take it inside or outside. Ties up. Ties James up. Jones. And almost sends Lenny Wirtz into the second row. And Lenny Wirtz gives us a little bit of Phantom of the Opera. Gives us a little bit of Cats Broadway production. Here comes a tie-up. Sooners have the ball in a two-point lead. Jones again. Lost it in midair. It looked like he wanted to go with a fingertip roll and gets a break as he and Sianovic now start kicking and shoving on the ground. Uh, Billy Tubbs does not want that fight. They don't want to trade Jones with Sianovic. Jerry will do it right now, though. Oh, look, a trade right up. Oh, sure, it'd be beautiful. But Jerry's hurt. <laughs> if anything problem UNLV has, they have a problem in the backcourt. They don't have the insurance. See, UNLV thought they had a kid named Thomas. They did not allow him in the school academically, even though he had 800 on the college boards. Technical foul has just been called on UNLV. There'll be more technical. Now, don't forget, in college, it takes three technicals before you put out. In pro, you put out two technicals. And all technical fouls in college is two shots. And now they're calling the it ball. on Jackie Jones instead after that confrontation with Sianovic. Sianovic. Uh, it was a tight call, but um, this kid's a playmaker. He's not a scorer. 
Oklahoma will keep pressure on him, trying to turn over the ball. He's in there because Greg Anthony has three personal fouls. And he hits the free throw. It'll be a six to nothing run for UNLV. And he does to tie things up in Norman, Oklahoma with nine minutes and 58 seconds left in the first half. Okay. Terry Evans, okay. Lenny Wirtz just came over to explain Let, the situation. Yeah. Lenny just told me it was a, uh, a double technical and uh, two shots on both ends and then a jump ball. You don't see so many jump balls anymore unless it's overtime in the start of the game, but real tough game to uh, officiate. So many great athletes out there. Let me tell you something out there in the round ball world, net world, hoop world, whatever you want to call yourselves. Oklahoma is a good ball team. They're quick. Everybody keeps, thinks of, you know, Mookie Blaylock and King. Oh, it was supposed to be a jump. No, they went. I admit that they went to the. Um, Lenny told me a jump. No, they went to it to where the arrow was pointing. Alternating possession roll, and it goes to UNLV as Oklahoma leads by two. Man to man pressure. That's the way Tubbs wants to play it, just like Jerry Tarkanian. UNLV can give one more foul before it's one and one. There it is. Just poked out of bounds by Evans. No foul called. 32 left in the 45 second shot clock. They got away from Larry Johnson. Let's see if they try to free up Johnson once again inside against Jackie Jones. His recovery almost takes it away. Pretty wraparound entry pass to get it to Johnson. And they do go back to their big man. Uh, Jones is upset. He was supposed to get help from the weak side that time, and the rotation man was too slow coming over. Tied at 28. Sianovic almost takes it away. Last good, touch good by the move. UNLV guard. Excellent move defensively. And watching the practices yesterday, both coaches worked so hard on defense. I, uh, you, know, you keep thinking of both clubs being running gun and up and down the court, but they, they play hard D. Hard man to man D. Good three-point shooter just came in for UNLV, Travis Bice out of Simi Valley, California. Smokey McCovery can't kill on the three-pointer, and Augman with the rebound, looking for the break. Oklahoma back in the transition game. Johnson, fingertip roll. Skeeter Henry was looking for the charge, didn't get the call. 14 points for that Larry was, Johnson. That wasn't a, a charge. Skeeter moved into it. Good no call. Larry Johnson coming over for the interception from the weak side. Good defensive pressure at both ends of the floor. And a walk on Augment. There you go, Al, talking about it earlier, hitting the big man with the ball on the move. Watch the finger roll here. He's up. The old Wilt Chamberlain finger roll. He was a lot closer to the rim when he released it, though. <laughs> Wilt Chamberlain scored over 100 points in an NBA game. Many, many, many years ago in Hershey, Pennsylvania. All Billy Tubbs wants is 100 points by a team scored in the half. Terry Evans hits the three-pointer. Evans with a total of 11. And the Sooners regain the lead by a point. I told you, they'll constantly try to double-team Zianovic, trying to turn him over. That is the wrong man to send to the free-throw line, though. He's the best free-throw shooter. Is Terry Evans now has just picked up his third personal foul. That's a blow to Oklahoma, to say the least, with 821 still left in the first half. Well, what they do right now, they move Skeeter Henry back toward, along with uh, Smokey, the cover. Not as many substitutions as I thought we'd see, Al, from Billy Tubbs in the early going. Oklahoma, over the first three games this year, has averaged 150 points. In their game against Northeastern Illinois, they won by 95, the widest margin of victory in NCAA history. They I'll also give... had the largest first half, or largest first or second half, with 97 points against the goals of USIU. I'll give you an academic scholarship. You can tell me where those three schools are located, what towns they're in. You'll get a four-year scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> USIU, San yeah. Diego. Go ahead. Northeastern Illinois. In normal, 
Go ahead, go ahead, come on. <laughs> now give me uh, Jimmy Valvano's famous. I better not knock the score. I was going to say uh, Angelo State. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Jones. He's a big one who likes to go outside. As you can see, good touch on it. Oklahoma by a couple. USIU, though, with one of my favorite nicknames, the Goals. Out of his range, Jones has to give it up. This is the three-point shooter that just came off the bench, Travis Bice. And a good defensive play as we get ready to take a break from Norman. Sooners are going to back after the great defensive pressure by Jack. A great featherweight title fight coming up next on NBC Sports World, plus the coverage of the bowling shootout. So stay with NBC for Sports World next. And welcome back to Norman. Joel Myers along with Al McGuire. The Sooners own the basketball at a two-point lead with seven minutes and 40 seconds. And in comes the Amira zone defense as man-to-man -man principles. It's a matchup 2-3. Well, they, they call it 1-1-3, one, one, Joe. Okay, okay. okay. And uh, they do back cuts. And they change positions inside. It. The way to beat it is to spread out like this. But don't take shots like that. <laughs> Peter Henry off the mark. Jackie Jones thought it was last cut. By James Jones. Doesn't get the call. And the Rebels get it back. Al, a lot of people have talked about the so-called cupcake schedule that we just looked at of Oklahoma playing USIU, U.S. International in Northeastern Illinois, along with Angelo State back here in Norman on Monday night. But Billy Tubbs has a lot to contend with in a very grueling schedule in the Big Eight. In addition to that, he had to psychologically get that pink elephant, which was uh, Mookie Blaylock and King, out of the minds of the ball players. In this game last year in Las Vegas, they scored 71 of the 90 points, Blaylock and uh, King. So by take doing it this way, he helped. The other problem I think that UNLV has, they just went into a 15-day break, which doesn't make sense. And I asked Jerry about it, and he says, well, we, um, we have so many national TV games. But I said, you can't go 15 days without, uh, without a game. And he said, well, the rodeo's in our, in our home court, and we just couldn't get a game on the road. So you got rushed going against uh, a team that hasn't played against any heavyweights. Reach in foul. It was called on Skeeter Henry, his second. Oklahoma already over the limit, so one and one time again for Stacy Sianovic of UNLV as Anderson Hunt waits to check back into the lineup. They'll come in for Sianovic. Johnny Bice in the backcourt. And that is the man. The Rebels wanted the free throw line today, if possible. And on the other hand, you're talking about that long layoff. Now Billy Tubbs has to deal with that because after today's game, they are off for two straight weeks. So that's going to be something he's going to have to contend with a long layoff. Yeah, but there's exams. I can see exactly. uh, there were, this was not for exams with the Rebs. Every tick in the clock that Jerry got away with this kid, Hunt sitting on the bench then, and Anthony sitting on the bench is a break. Now Hunt's back in. Six minutes, 40 seconds left in the first half. It's all even at 34. They're staying in that matchup zone that Al was just talking about with man-to-man -man principles. They've got to spread out like this to handle it. They want to kick it down low if possible. Jackie Jones tries for three. Good position by the Hawk. Tony Martin with the follow. Oklahoma regains the lead. Getting a little steamy now at the Lloyd Noble Center in Norman, Oklahoma. And that's one of the things Jerry Tarkanian said coming in today, that if there's one thing he likes, Billy Tubbs to turn on the air conditioning in this building. They like it hot, Al. Yeah, they, they, they turn heat up. Here's a flat roof. Crowd gets into the ball game. They don't lose often at home. Augman doesn't get the roll. He's at last touch by UNLV. Now, Al, when you were coaching, you didn't care about how hot it was in the building. You worried about the opposition's locker room, didn't you? What I would do is I would always put the heat up a little bit more in the opponent's locker room <laughs> at home. When they went in at halftime, they'd sit and they'd wilt. They'd be in there for 10 or 15 minutes. They'd come out the second half, they were a piece of cake. We'd just blow them out of there. Nice guy, that Al McGuire. What, what a coach. That was yesteryear. Michigan up by 15 now after leading earlier by 10. Tony Martin blocked by Stacy Augman. Jones tries for three. UNLV leading by five. Or make it Oklahoma rather by five. Their Jack biggest lead so far has been at six. Jackie Jones is not bashful. We got a 1-3-1 one, one trap on now. We gotta attack that 2-1-2. Two, 
Now they analyze it. It should get a shot from the outside right there. Anderson Hunt arches it. Yep. That one came down wet. Yep. They try to quiet down the crowd at the Lloyd Noble Center, at least momentarily. Recovery working in the backcourt if you've just joined us due to the three personal fouls on the starting guard, Terry Evans. The foul on the three-point try by Skeeter Henry. Larry Johnson picks up his second. That's the one person that UNLV has got to keep out of foul trouble. Well, the game plans to get him into foul trouble, so whatever area of the amoeba zone he's in, you'll keep the ball in that action. If he plays man-to-man, -man, you'll keep the ball in the opponent's hands as much as you can to create a foul on Larry Johnson. Very young into the lineup now for Larry Johnson. This is the time where Oklahoma would like to turn it on without the big man in the middle for UNLV. Skeeter Henry. And a three-point lead. They're now setting up their defensive set. They make this foul shot, look for the Sooners to press hard, try to turn over Hunt or um, Vice. Vice has a little bit of an advantage, he's 6 foot 5. Here comes the pressure, watch how hard it will be. Now the double team, he'll move up, got oh, we almost had it. Henry was a split second. Now it's broke, they go all the way for gold. Vice with the fall away jumper. That was his first attempt since coming in. Four point lead for the Sooners with the ball. Good front by Barry Young as they tried to post up Tony Martin on the smaller man. Henry goes for three. Rebound coming down to Stacy Augment. Another break opportunity. Jackie Jones saves it, but it was last touch by McCovery. That's the fourth time they made the same mistake. On fast breaks, they're feeding the ball to Augment and also to, uh, to Jones, which you don't give the ball to tall guys in the fast break. Let them finalize it at the end of it. Fresh 45 of the shot clock for UNLV. Hunt got his man into the air and drew the foul as well. Joe, if that 45-second shot clock was off in this game, I'm a monkey's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> now, it might go off at the end of the game, but during the flow back and forth, forget the 45-second clock. Smokey McCovery called him a slap on the wrist of Anderson Hunt, who will go to the free throw line shooting two for UNLV. UNLV last year finished at 28-9, advancing to the West Regional Finals before losing to the Pirates of Seton Hall. Hunt hitting the free throw, bringing the Rebels back within three. There go the towels for Jerry Tarkanian. Now, the manager for the team has to bring specific towels for Jerry Tarkanian. He has a wet one throughout the game, a dry one as well, and backups. So in case the opposition tries to steal those towels from Tark the Shark. They find Tony Martin. Recovery. Another three-point attempt. 15th three-pointer try by Oklahoma. Only five for UNLV. Belly button, the belly button defense. Up tight. Augment. Not been much of a force offensively. And can't find it that time. Skeeter Henry with the boards. That is really a good job to save it. It's going up. Nice defensive play by Ogden. Jones will be called on the foul on Jackie Jones. James Jones of UNLV picking up his second. Watch him coming right at you here. Playing very physical underneath. This will end up with a two-shot foul. He didn't allow enough room to continue his play. Jackie Jones, total of eight points so far. Junior from Martin Luther, Luther King High School in Detroit. Another junior college transfer for Oklahoma. They couldn't survive without the junior college system. Both these clubs. Well, you got to remember Joe, transfers extensively. That both coaches went to junior college. Both coaches coached in junior college, so their philosophy a lot is dealing with junior college ball players. Now that's changed a lot when Bobby Knight ended up recruiting the two Keith Smart and the two junior college ball players that ended up winning him that 
national championship uh, three or four years ago down in the Crescent City. Jackie Jones with the two free throws. 321 left in the first half. The Sooners. It's 81 degrees, and we're just starting. I look to go about 85 to 90 come the second half, Joel. Uh, we got a break today. It is a comfortable day, about 50 degrees on the outside of Lloyd Noble Center. Otherwise, it could be well over 90 degrees because always steamy conditions. That's the way Billy Tubbs likes it here in Norman, Oklahoma. Well, that's what Tark said. Just give me some air conditioning. That's all you want, Tark, right? That's why he wore the short sleeves today. <laughs> give him an excuse to take off the jacket. Welcome back to Norman. Sooners with a four-point lead, trying to make it four straight wins over the run in Rebels. McCovery gets it out of the hands of Young, but last touch by Oklahoma. Pressure defense, a constant. It is very rare when you see two teams from the same conference winning both the national championship in football and basketball, but a chance for the Big 8 this year. Colorado ranked number one right now. You've got four teams in the top 20 from the Big 8 in basketball. It could conceivably happen. And they get it low for Johnson. Short of the attempt and the rebound going down to Skeeter Henry. Every time Johnson touches the ball, they collapse on him. Three-point attempt is short by Jones. Johnson after the rebound, can he save it? Yes, to James Jones. Again, though, that pressure in the backcourt. Ogden has a flat game so far. Hunter found that out. Larry Johnson wasn't boxed out at all. Can't get the roll, but he'll go to the line to shoot two. They forgot to pick up Larry Johnson on the weak side of the basket. Well, LJ is such a space eater, such a man among boys. Watch him underneath, a lot of elbows and pushing. Once he gets it there, either you got to foul him or let him have the basket. They selected the foul on that time. It could have been a three-point play. I'm talking about Colorado as the number one team of the nation right now. You've got four Big A basketball teams currently in the top 20. Is William Davis, the leading scorer for the Sooners, with that tendonitis in his left foot, is back into the lineup. You look back on conferences that have enjoyed that honor and distinction. The Pac-8 in 73 with USC, the great Anthony Davis team winning the national championship. And John Wooden's UCLA Bruins winning in basketball. Wooden last team in 75 and the Trojans in 75 in football. Turning that combination once again. And the last time it was done, it was two ACC teams in 82, Clemson in football and North Carolina in basketball. I think the next team that's going to do that in Division I would be in goal and Angelo State. Now tell me where they're from. <laughs> <laughs> they're from the state of Texas. 227. Left in the first half. Larry Johnson with the free throw line. He is such a large one, but feather light touch. Goes at 6'7, 250. Odessa Junior College. Junior College player of the year last season. Jones on the drive. Looked like it was deflected again by James Jones. And we've got a jump off. I, I don't believe that Jackie Jones understands that UNLV is in his own. At the half, an interview with the athletic director of Oklahoma. And Al's top ten. Want to kick it inside, but they'll take the outside shot. They got it. It's going up. Arnold Davis as it was stripped away by Barry Young, helping out James Jones underneath defensively. Setting up a trap. As soon as he comes over half court, they should try to trap right here. Two starting guards for UNLV are on the bench right now. Augman working in the backcourt with Stacey Sianovic. Almost taken away from Jones. Slapped away from behind. Defensive play by Tony Martin. Henry leading the break. Showing good patience as UNLV got back in the transition game. It's a two-point Oklahoma lead. A minute 35 left in the first half. Johnny Martin. He's great from within 15 feet, but that was an 18-footer. Need a little bit more patience, Martin. It's not his game from out there. Barry Young has been off the bench a couple of times, Al, but really hasn't tried to fill it up. Now he goes. 
Gets his first one. <laughs> That'll teach you. <laughs> and you. I tell you what, the next time he touches the ball offensively, it's going up because he's a streak shooter. There's the 1-1-3 one, one, zone. Martin with a great position inside. Gives the Sooners a two-point lead once again. Eight points for the Hawk, Tony Martin. Under 45 seconds left in the first half. Sianovic almost trapped in the backcourt. Jones following Jones. Jackie following James. Second foul on Jackie Jones. The reason the Rebs are staying so long in the zone is because of their uh, foul problems. Both starting guards on the bench, Anthony and Hunt. The high pressure could really pay off for Oklahoma with the running out of time right now in the last minute of the first half. The Sooners have to realize that come the second half that Ogman is going to get on his afterburner. You can't, you can't shut him down two halves in a row. He has not been a factor at all offensively. Stacy Ogman has only one point. I enjoyed being with him over in Seoul during the Olympics. He is 0 for 4 from the floor so far. James Jones fails to tie it up. Let's see if the Sooners play for the final shot. Got a point lead. Psychologically, it'd be smart, too, with the uh, Rebels staying in that 1-1-3 amoeba zone. Jerry says stay in it. So they'll milk it down now to about six seconds, five seconds, let it fly. I look for uh, Skeeter Henry to get the shot or Smoker. Oklahoma has not been beaten at home since the 86-87 season. A span of 33 straight. Looking for Davis inside. They take away that pass. Jones. NBA range. Followed by Martin at the buzzer. And it counts. A boost for the Sooners on their way to the halftime locker room. And Sark can't believe it. Jones. Anthony. Johnson and Hunt on the floor for UNLV for Oklahoma. McCovery in the backcourt. There is a change in the start of the second half instead of Skeeter Henry. Although Henry goes down to the baseline with Evans in the backcourt. Henry, Martin, and Jackie Jones down low. Start up. Defense starts right away. Offense takes about a minute or so to get started. See how defense right on top. You can turn the ball looking for a five count. Tough, tough Oklahoma defense. The biggest lead in the first half belonged to Oklahoma when they were on top by six. They free up Johnson. Uses the class over Jackie Jones, and it's a one-point Oklahoma advantage. Jackie Jones has to learn to play Johnson's thighs, not his rear end. Ball away for Tony Martin. Greg Anthony, the little guy going in there for the rebound. Looking for the break, he finds Augman. Augman found it hard to believe he was that open in the middle of the lane. They keep trying to feed him the ball in the fast break, which I say is a no-no, but that got Ogman Stacy out of the blocks. 60 seconds into the second half. UNLV had the lead for a very short period of time. Terry Evans with a knifing move. Ball lost by Greg Anthony. No foul called. Turnover committed by UNLV is their 10th. Here's the kick inside. Now, Ogman stays with the ball and gives a finger roll. Gives one of those condor wings spreading out the 6'7", 6'8". They lob it for Martin, who is shoving off to gain that position inside. Picks up the offensive foul. That is the third foul on Martin. So two suitors now with three personal fouls. They're starting man in the middle, Tony Martin. And they're starting point guard, Terry Evans. One player for UNLV with three personals. That's their guard, Greg Anthony. And they need Greg, Greg Anthony into crunch time, going down to the wire. Man to man all the way for Oklahoma, except in the backcourt trap. Johnson gets nice. his man into the air. Good head, shoulder yeah, fake. Yeah, good head and shoulder fake. Got him into the air, then went into him looking for the uh, two shot foul. Shooters know where it's going. Jackie Jones with the responsibility of guarding. Larry Johnson, but not much they can do about it unless he gets double team support. Third foul now on Jackie Jones. That's why I feel that Jackie Jones should get around in front of him more and expect the rotation to protect you from the backside, not from the front side. Johnson averaging 23 a game. Has 19 now. 
Larry Johnson was always a great ball player. Out of high school, you're supposed to go to uh, SMU, and that's when SMU ended up getting the death penalty. Then he went on to Odessa College and became a super uh, JC uh, All-American. He narrowed his choices down to UNLV in Oklahoma. So it was tough for Billy Tubbs. He almost had Johnson. There's the interception for Greg Hunt. Stacy Ogden with a big play at the opposite end, though, to make that steal. A three-point UNLV lead. And that is their biggest lead of the day. The covering. He can't find it. Larry Johnson with the rebound. Ogman almost losing it and does. They hit the big man in the open court again. That's five turnovers hitting the big man on fast breaks. Gonna muscle it. Rejection nice hand. by Jones. Caught it on its way up. It doesn't become goaltend unless it reaches its height. Here's an old man rebound. All man, not old, all man. Gets in there, takes the ball, takes the drop step, moves the elbows out to give him some space to release the pass. Shooters have it, but they're down by three. Scooter Henry, he's in a good penetration move. Nine points now for Henry. The tempo has moved up a little bit. I still look for potential total of 200 points. Johnson was trying to get Martin. Did he walk? Stepped on the baseline. Same result. A turnover getting the ball back to Oklahoma. That's the 12th giveaway by the running Rebels. Larry Johnson leads them in that category and giving the ball up. Yeah, that's his Achilles heel. He's turnover prone. That's his albatross. Ooh, good hands by Ogden. You want to know how to play defense? Watch Stacey and D. Evans tries to get the center to lead and does so. I know I said this at the top of the show, but I think it's so important for people to hear. Billy Tubbs, the head coach, biggest surprise in a player he's ever had in his life as with the kid Evans, Terry Evans. He's a redshirt freshman from Oklahoma City. His father, a two-time All-Bay big A performer right here for the Sooners. Johnson may have gotten away with a walk. And a foul coming up. It'll be on Jackie Jones, and it'll be his fourth. A break for UNLV. Tough enough to find somebody that can keep up with Larry Johnson. Now he goes out with four fouls and hampered by that. Tendonitis in his foot. William Davis comes into the game. You won't see the true Larry Johnson until Butler comes back and scurry. Greg Anthony doesn't even find the rim. Break coming up from McCovery. <laughs> no foul was called. <laughs> Billy Tubbs can't believe it. Larry Johnson loses, McCovery gets it. What happened there, there was fouls both sides. It might have been three or four fouls. Is that all? One said, hey, no call. They let it go all the way. Augman on the drive. And a foul on Jones on the rebound. Let's go back with this last sequence. Billy's trying to keep the crowd in the game. It's a shame he's not getting into it. Here comes the last sequence. Both go up there, they obviously catch a part of Smokey. Now the ball comes down, his hands all over Johnson, but the ref figures, I missed the other one, let's miss this one, and they get a chippy. Time out of the four, Oklahoma with a four. Get to the passer here, they're empty in the weak side. We've got a block here at the end, of playing a lot of balls. His whole life is coaching. Seven consecutive NCAA tournaments. He is the leading coach in the country, percentage-wise, active and winning. The only coach is a little bit higher than him. He's around 83, 84%, was the great Claire Bill, Claire B from LIU, the Blackbirds of the 1940s and the 50s. He used to play in the old Madison Square Garden on 49th Street and 8th Avenue in the Big Apple. Oklahoma has it a four-point lead. It's almost saved by McCovery. Last touch by UNLV's Anderson Hunt. Did they ever buy a break there? It was almost out of bounds. Evans tight roping the sideline. Evans right now the difference in the backcourt. He has not missed a shot today. Terry Evans, the outstanding redshirt freshman for Oklahoma. Five of five from the floor. Four of four from three-point range. Total of 16 points. And a foul on the inside. Called on Tony Martin. 
Larry Johnson hit the deck. Coming up next on Sports World, a great featherweight championship fight. Jorge Fayez against Lupe Gutierrez. And then the bowling shootout at Alfano's on NBC Sports World. Fourth foul on Tony Martin. Devastating blow for Oklahoma on the inside. Especially with William Davis not being at 100%. And now you bring a cold player off the bench who has not even been in so far today. Kermit Holmes. He's a junior from Oklahoma. That was token pressure up court. Anthony got away from recovery. Opposite side. Anderson Hunt hits the jumper. Basket by Anderson Hunt. Rebels down by a basket. William Davis wants it down low. There it is. Nice pass. Excellent pass. Is there a three in the key? Yes. Three-second violation. That was a fast three. I'm not saying it wasn't three, but it was a fast three. Billy's saying, hey, what are you using, a Jesse Owens clock or a Jack Dempsey clock? UNLV has a three-on-one break if they can convert. Jones on the reverse doesn't even draw iron, but draws the foul on William Davis. Tough to miss the rim when you're that close. Yeah, it was an overlay. Second foul on William Davis, their leading scorer, the senior from Kansas City. Sooner coaches compare him to the former hit player, Jerome Lane. They like the way he bodies people inside. A physical player. J.J. here can tie it up. Only a 40% free throw shooter coming in. With quite a comeback. Leading Michigan now. Jones hits one of two. Rebels trailing by one with the Sooners getting it back. Terry Evans all poised. Doesn't rush. Doesn't kill his dribble. Very patient now for a freshman. Davis. Well, he's a red shirt freshman. They kept not last right. year. And Holmes is fouled from behind by James Jones. Uh, Billy, Coach Billy, you better sit down. They're going to hit you with a tee. Three officials working today's contest. All from the Atlantic Coast Conference. You've got Lenny Wirtz in there, the senior member of the crew and the senior member of the ACC officials, 20 years there. Uh, Billy, you better sit. We've, we've seen the two-piece, or, or the, not the two-piece, but it's a double-breasted suit. It's nice. But you're going to get a T. Back away Good by hands, Greg Anthony from McCovery. And the Rebels lead it by one. 14 minutes and 26 seconds left in the second half. They're still playing a half-court game, though. Not indicative of the way these two teams like to get it up and down the floor in the transition game. Well, the Rebs are in foul trouble. they got to slow it down as best they can. Foul inside. Manu just checked in, picked it up. Chris Jeter. So Tark using his bench a little bit more now. Jeter's expendable. That foul does not affect uh, the Rebs at all. As long as it wasn't on Ogman, especially not on uh, Johnson. Cheater in for the first time, the junior from San Diego. Davis, where he likes to work, but doesn't get the jump hook over Larry Johnson. Before the game, Johnson was hitting three-pointers. Ogman, it'll count if it goes. And Stacy Ogman with the line to shoot two. Skeeter Henry picking up his third personal foul. Momentum really swinging back and forth. Neither team can gain it for long periods of time with big runs. No one's had an extended sprint. Whoever moves up seven or eight points, it should be their game. Biggest lead in the game is back in the first half very early when Oklahoma led 26 to 20. Foul shot to been a problem for UNLV today as Ogden hits one of two. They called that last foul. They changed it now. From Henry to William Davis. So instead of Henry's third, it'll be Davis's third foul. Henry caught in the air. Makes it count. Almost that was a like prayer. A jump pass. Oh, that was a difficult shot. Tied at 58. Good pressure. And it forces UNLV into calling the timeout. 
Good pressure once again by a guard off the bench, Smokey McCovery. Timeout with 13.40. Left of the second NFL football coming your way on NBC. It all starts with Bob Costas and O.J. Simpson. NFL Live at 12.30 Eastern. One of the big games as far as the playoffs are concerned. The Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Green Bay Packers. The second half of the doubleheader. Some of you will see Cleveland and Indianapolis. So check your local listings for the game and the time in your area. And welcome back to the Noble Center in Norman, Oklahoma. Joel Myers along with Al McGuire. Tied up a fair at 58. Hogman tries to break the deadlock. Hawkman starting to pick up the pace offensively in the second half. He only had one point in the first half. Has a total of six now. I said he needs 12 points in this half for the Rebs to win. Anthony after it. Retrieved by Holmes. Sherlock. Sherlock hit it. He's not wearing the goggles today, Al. Earlier this year, Kermit Holmes going with the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar goggles. Not this afternoon, though. Again, Larry Johnson. Tough, tough shot off balance. Evans, who's been perfect from the floor and continues to be. He is at five three pointers. Coach Talk has not taken his hand off his head in the last couple of minutes. He must have a giant headache for some reason or other. And I think it's the personal fouls on his team trying to adjust and make sure he has that pat hand going into the last four or five minutes of the game. But Follow. I mean by a pat hand, that means you're starting team. You want the last five minutes. So that towel is not reducing the headache ratio of Jerry Tarkanian this afternoon. Sianovic coming back into the lineup. After the free throw will be taken. Greg Anthony fouls. That last whistle was Smokey McCovery picking up his second. Sooners already over the limit now with 12 minutes and 42 seconds left in the contest. Only three team fouls on UNLV so far in the second half. 19 points now for Terry Evans. Who just hit that three-pointer to give Oklahoma the lead. Number five, Sianovich in the lineup now. Stacy Sianovich in for the shooter, Anthony. They bring him in when they try to calm things down. He's one of the leaders out there, a senior. But uh, this move was mainly because of the foul situation, right. Joel. Greg uh, Anthony has three personal fouls on him, and he has to have him. He's the guy that uh, that runs the show. He's the quarterback. He's the he's the glue. Um, give Johnson a blow. They just took Johnson out just for a rest period. He'll be back in within two minutes. Evans working on Zianovic. Posting up Davis. Blocked by Jeter in a jump ball situation. Big play by Chris Jeter off the bench. Ball stays down there because the arrow's pointing that way. It goes the ball down low. This is nice, clean D. Five underneath. A shove against Oklahoma on the inbounds pass. Gives it back to UNLV. And don't forget, they're in the bonus situation. Watch the shove off here. See that? That's illegal. You're not allowed to do that. Especially when three zebras are watching. <laughs> in tight quarters, to say the least. Do it in the crowd, but not out in the open. Third foul on Skeeter Henry. And the more sin of it is a possible four-point play. Two you might have gotten, two they may pick up off the charity line. This guy's such a good foul shooter because he keeps his elbow in. Try to catch that this time. Watch. Watch how tight he keeps his elbow in. He takes one or two shadow shots. That means he's just tracked the shooting. He called it shadow shooting. Now watch how tight the elbow is. You thought Larry Johnson would be out for two minutes. It wasn't even 60 seconds. Well, it felt like two minutes to talk. <laughs> <laughs> that elbow's tight. Automatic. Sianovic has eight points, and all eight coming from the free throw line, where he is eight of eight on the afternoon. And UNLV, with a four to nothing mini spurt, has a one point lead. Lane opens for Evans. Couldn't finish off the play. But a nice dribble drive by Terry Evans as the ball goes back to UNLV. He needed to take one more dribble that time. He committed himself to the air too soon. Here's pressure up court, token pressure. Oklahoma, interestingly, has turned down their defense a little bit in the second half. 
Double team on Johnson on the low stack. It's not there, Johnson. You've got to kick it out. Sianovic got caught in the air in no man's land. Break coming up for Davis. Holmes follows. Kermit Holmes with his first two points. Good, good move that time by Smokey. Almost created a T.O. turnover. Gonna call timeout. They're gonna lose that ball. Timeout. He just got it in. Larry Johnson and UNLV. Before it passed that three count. We'll be right back to Norman Oakway for UNLV. And Jerry Tarkanian as the Rebels are down to their final timeout of the second half. Four remaining for Oklahoma. So that could be of a concern for the Rebels head coach before it's all over. Barry Young likes to square up for the three-pointer. He's cold coming off the bench. Follow for Augman. Basket by Stacy Augman. A one-point lead for UNLV. UNLV playing man-to-man. -man. Double team if they can. No pressure up court. Good hands. Excellent hands that time by Anthony. And it almost slid off the foot of William Davis out of bounds. The Sooners retain possession, though. You've just joined us for a good 8-10 to ten minute stretch of the first half. UNLV was going with a 1-1-3 matchup zone. Oh, Henry. <laughs> what a Anderson Hunt right out of the play. What a pick by, by William Davis. <laughs> Hunt looked like he got hit by, by Leonard out in Las Vegas in that fight last week. <laughs> what we've heard about that fight, that may have been a tougher blow than what was thrown in that fight. Yeah, I heard it was a dance. Augman can't get his second straight. And McCovery corrals it. One game you can't hide age in, and that's in boxing. You cannot hide age. Age takes it out of you. Evans beats Hunt to the baseline, but can't finish off the play. Johnson's free. Going against Holmes inside. They'll reset the offense, though. Johnson comes to the high post. That means he wants to get down to Ogman. Obviously, Young just wants to shoot. That's his biggest weapon. Good movement now without the ball by UNLV. They're not used to this at the Noble Center in Norman. A team holding onto the ball this long. Almost thrown away. Augman saves it to Johnson. Johnson. Heads up. Play by Augman. Boy, nobody can break out. It's been a photo since the opening gun. Can't get it inside to Davis on the strong side. Well, Johnson was playing, running him. Johnson's playing in front of him. We just saw that pick where Henry oh, hit it. Watch Hunt hit into Davis, William Davis, right here. Now watch, now watch Hunt's reaction. He said, hey, get my football pads out. <laughs> or at least guys on my team, please talk to me. Yeah, tell me the pick is coming, which you should when you're blind like that. You should say to your teammate, hey. Davis. Oh, nice. William Davis. Gives the Sooners a one-point lead in the 19th lead change in this game. There have been 14 ties as well with six points. The largest margin so far enjoyed by Oklahoma in the first half. Vice in the game. And Vice. Vice Boy, Vice just pushed off. Right in front of Lenny Wirtz. Greg Anthony was annoying him. Not Greg Anthony was annoying him. Oh. Evans got under now his watch, shirt. You watch, he comes back. And the advice just pushed him right, right, right out in the open there. That was the fifth foul on UNLV. Oklahoma is in, has already committed seven. Montgomery fouled by Vice on his way to the basket. Vice, the sophomore who redshirted last year, played his high school ball with UCLA's Don McLean at Simi Valley High School. Los Port Angeles area. Important fact, Joe, both teams are in the 1-1 one -one now. Game's going to be decided 15 feet from the basket. It's going to be decided on the foul line. And that should hurt the Rebs. They are not good foul shooters normally. Last year, they were atrocious. Stacy Ogden is going to get a quick breather. 
before the final seven to eight minutes with 9.06 remaining. James Jones coming back into the Rebels lineup along with Anderson Hunt. Bicep's down after picking up those two quick fouls. He was only on the floor for about 45 seconds. Smokey's hurting. If you get a close shot of him, even taking a foul shot, that, that ankle's hurting him. And you'll see him grint and show pain. But he's a, he's a keeper. He stays in. He only went through about half the drills yesterday. Yeah. This has been the team of nicknames in recent years. Smokey McCuffey and Mookie Blaylock and Skeeter Henry. You see yeah, that right angle? It. Yeah, yes. he's favoring it. Under nine minutes left. Three-point lead in the second half has been a big lead. They're going to have to take Smokey out of there. They've got to get him out. He can't play D. Johnson pushing off underneath. Committing the foul. Third foul on Larry Johnson. Coming in now for Oklahoma for the first time this afternoon. Mike Harris. Yeah, they had a smoky out. Yeah, I figured that. They, these two coaches, they're, they're on top of their game, Joe. But they know what they're doing. They're good coaches year in and year out. It's um, it's not an accident. It's a way of life for both of them. Two of the most competitive programs yeah. the NCAA. Now, now Jerry's in some problem with the NCAA now. Right. He lost in overtime that Supreme Court thing, five to four. So something has to happen. I don't know what will happen, but something has to happen. But at Las Vegas, you must remember that the basketball program at Las Vegas is the most important thing for that city. You know, everyone thinks of the strip. Hey, the strip is like motor industry in Motown, or it's like um, the steel industry in Pittsburgh, or the broom business in the Milwaukee or Idaho. But the basketball in Las Vegas is one of the few things they really, really connect with. Five-point lead for Oklahoma. The crowd coming alive at the Noble Center. Hawkins on the bench. Joe, a little bit out of his range, Whoa. but he'll hit it anyway. Big, big basket. It quieted the crowd. He misses that, and Oklahoma comes down and moves it up to seven. The Rebs are in trouble. It's a three-point game once again. Ten points for Jones. Davis lost it on his way up, but it goes right to Mike Harris. Harris is a good ball handler. Can shoot from outside, but he's, he wasn't recruited as a scorer. He's very strong. Aggressive man-to-man -man all the way in the second half for UNLV as Mike Harris comes off the bench to hit a jumper. A five-point bolt once again for the Sooners. Big trip again for Young this time. Does he get the roll? No. And Holmes has the board. Evans trying to give the Sooners their biggest lead of the day. 7.35 left. Evans is smart. He knows he won a good shot this time down. Psychological basket. It goes off Anthony. The Sooners keep it the crimson and red. A lot of time left, 7.30. Good lob pass inside by Evans, but four Rebels converged around William Harris. 75 to 70, Oklahoma by five. They find Davis. That's the shot they wanted. Anthony finds a lane. He can't convert, it's tipped in by Johnson. Johnson gets the basket. Nice slash by Anthony that time. Johnson's man drove the double team on Greg after he broke through. He cracked their defense and got an easy putback. Let's see if the redshirt freshman tries to take over a little bit. He was hot early in the second half. Terry Evans. He's free for three. Again, he finds it. One of the things that's happening is Greg away Anthony by the Rebels. On the defensive end, Joel, Greg Anthony has three personal fouls. He shouldn't be picking up Evans. Who should be picking up Evans is the off guard, Harris. Now Hunt's in there, so Hunt should be picking him up. Darkini and the Rebels will get a TV timeout soon. Don't forget, they've only got one timeout remaining. We can't wait four minutes. That's the next commercial timeout. They score again. He'll, he'll take it. 
Holmes on the follow is short after the Harris Smith. Another try, and Holmes is fouled. Foul that time by J.J. Jones. James Jones, a real bonus today at the defensive end of the floor with at least a half a dozen blocks. But he has just fouled out of the game. They're not deep enough to lose James Jones with Butler and Scurry still wow. ineligible until the 17th. And don't forget, Akles has a broken wrist. So they, they've got to now, they're going to have to move in. They, they've got to go either to, um, oh, I see, I see they're going to anybody. I don't want to cheat. <laughs> Good point, though. Let's not Cheater. forget about George Akles, who has yeah, a broken yeah. wrist. And he is going to most likely be redshirted this year, as Jones has just fouled out with a total of 10 points. Akles is getting the cast off, but they say he won't even be 100% until at least February, middle of February. So... He is most likely going to redshirt this season and come back for one final year with the running Rebels. They won't keep Young in there if he doesn't hit one of his first two shots. They'll take him out, and they'll go on. Um, boy, he's a thin bench. The game plan has been working for the Sooners. Six points, six rebounds. He's coming off the bench in the second half for Kermit Holmes. He has been a spark. He didn't see any action in the first 20 minutes of play. Keeps a lot of balls alive on the inside. And he gives Oklahoma their largest lead of the afternoon now at seven points. Sianovic is going to take over the point guard duties. With Greg Anthony on the bench. Young almost walked. Johnson doesn't get the roll. Tipped in by Augman. Uh, that was a close call. I don't know if that's Augman or Johnson. Who was it? Augment with 10 points now. Game's perking up, Joel. 5.52 left. Five-point lead for the Sooners. Holmes out of his ring. Tries it anyway. Rebels have given that shot. Johnson with a big rebound. Two-on-one opportunity for Augman and Hunt. Augman. Oh, doesn't get wow, the slam dunk. wow, wow, wow. Did Evans with the one underneath. Uh, did he go upstairs? I hope we can catch that on the replay. That was unbelievable how high he went. Martin with the fall away. The fall is not there for Henry. Yep, Skeeter almost put it back in. Zianovic trying to pick it up behind Ogman, though. It, last touch, though, by the Sooners. Watch Ogman on this play. I don't want to talk over. Just watch how high he goes. Up, 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 and away. Now, he grabs the rim because he's off balance and get injured. That's legal. I thought they should have called either charging or undercut on that, one or the other. Tried the tomahawk dunk. Rocket Hard chair. off the heel. For three. Anderson Hunt doesn't get it. Johnson. He can't buy it. And he picks up a foul in the process. That's and what Little Mike Harris came up with a rebound. That's a frustration foul. He, he missed the, the cupcake layback. And overreacted and committed a personal foul. James Jones has already fouled out for the Rebels. They're not deep on the bench at all. And now Larry Johnson has just picked up foul number four. Johnson with 26 points and 14 rebounds on the afternoon. Sooners have Harris going to the free throw line for the first time today. He has a total of two points. Way short. Didn't take much time either once he got the ball from the official. Didn't follow through. Didn't get off his heels. He was trained. Wrap around pass inside. Johnson will go to the line to shoot two. Good entry pass and a good look by Anderson Hunt. Harris dropped down, doubled down, committed the foul. They can't break out. It's a five-point spread. Larry's mom, Dorothy Johnson here. I don't know if she wants to watch these free throws. Critical time of the game with only four minutes and 50 seconds left. The leading score for the Rebels at the line. Soft hand. There's such a physical looking forward. Brings the Rebels back within four. On the season, he's hit almost 80% of his free throws. Better than 64% of his shots from the floor. 
He is now 8 of 10 at the line. Do we have a lane violation? Yes, second That's the, time. No, Oklahoma. third. Third the time, third actually. lane violation. And each time, Johnson missed the shot. The first two times the guy stepped in, Johnson got the ball again and made them. So this is the third time. Seam stepped in before the ball is released. Dermot Holmes. <laughs> Almost in early again. This time he didn't make the second try. Now in the pros, in the NBA, they allow you to step in like that a little soon, but not in college. Henry had the pass deflected by Young. He was trying to get it inside to William Davis. Whoa. And Henry commits the foul. Augman will go to the line. It wasn't intentional. Just bodies bumping, going down. Augman go. Here goes over. Ski to Henry. Bodies touch right there. The knees touch. He goes down. Fourth foul on Skeeter Henry. Rebels can get back into it at the free throw line. Johnson, though, only hit one of two that last trip. Sianovich will sit down. Greg Anthony back into the game. So the starting combination of the backcourt in there for the run in Rebels of Anderson Hunt and Greg Anthony. This is what Jerry wanted the last five minutes with his, with his stars in there. Nobody out of the game with fouls. Try to get a run go and make up this four point spread. I wonder if Jerry could make it through a game without a towel. Be tough. Be real tough. Augman can't hit the front end of the bonus situation. Four Sooners, or make it three Sooners with four fouls as Harris tries one. Davis took it away from Stacey Augman. Six points in her lead. It's Johnson time. Augman gets it. Johnson was double, triple teamed. He had to give it up with his back to the basket. Johnson and Augman might be the best team of forwards in college ball today. And I think they'll prove it when Butler comes back next week. Then you've got a true center in there. The jump hook is good by Skeeter Henry. 15 points for Henry. Young might be being taken out for not playing defense on that shot that time. We'll see. Young in three-point land. I'd go back down underneath. Penetration. Knifing. Moved by Anderson Hunt. He doesn't get the basket. He's got a good chance of drawing a foul. High percentage play. Mike Harris in there for a good number of minutes now. Oklahoma spread it out. They got three ball handles in there. Count Henry. They try to post up William Harris on Augman down low. Interesting that they try to go up against Augman, the best defensive player on the floor for the run in Rebels. Harris tries the drag shot, and he last touched it. The scoop does not work for Harris. And when we come back, the Rebels will get the ball back. You think he's had some tough times in the center? Oh, a every number dollar of he made. The featherweight title fight with Marv Albert, Paez, and Gutierrez in the bowling shootout. That's next on NBC Sports World. UNLV with only one timeout remaining. Oklahoma still has three left with exactly three minutes left in the contest. It's a four-point lead for the Sooners. Looked like they tried to work the clock a little bit that time down Oklahoma. It's not their style. Anthony in the backcourt with Anderson Hunt and Vice, a three-point threat on the floor. Augman and Johnson, the only two forwards, true forwards out there. Augman, double clutcher. Loose ball comes up for Terry Evans. Evans. Having a big, big day at the offensive end with 22 points and a 6 of 6 from three-point range. Is Skeeter Henry going to find it? Yes. A star is born. Perry Evans is a star. He has three more years after this. I guarantee by his junior, senior year, you will be getting Mookie Blaylock and talking about Perry Evans. Skeeter Henry at the line. Henry hit only 63% of his free throws. There's Terry Evans, the redshirt freshman. His father was a two-time All-Big Eater right here for the Sooners and also a former Sooner assistant coach. He's got great vision on the floor. Henry only at 
63% at the line last year, 50% so far this season, comes up with a critical one with 226 remaining. He has confidence now. His shot's too low. His trajectory must be higher. He plays a full 40 minutes. He has the body that can go forever. Better. One of two. Five-point Oklahoma lead. Larkin doesn't try that many three-pointers. Hit for a high percentage, though, from three-point range last year. Augment has it poked away by Davis, and Augment may have gotten away with a shove on the play. He definitely did get away with a shove on that play. I think UNLV's looking for the three-point play too soon. I'd hammer it down inside to Johnson and keep Augment down low, too. That's the only reason they have Vice in there. Anthony forces it. Low percentage shot for Greg Anthony off balance. They want to settle down a little bit, to spread it out, try to work the clock. Evans working against Anthony. Sooners have to worry about standing around without the ball. Anthony, or make it Evans, rather throws it away, but it's given right back. Taken away by Anthony, but a foul of the opposite end. No, it wasn't a foul. That we caught the ball. Okay. Harris walked. A travel called on Harris. You know, I thought in the championship game two years ago against Kansas, when Kansas beat Oklahoma, I thought with about five, six minutes to go, Oklahoma had a five-point lead. They went and they spread it out a little bit. But then Manning went to work also. But I, I thought that they shouldn't be spreading out this much now. They're not that type of a club. But that's just my opinion. They get a break on the travel call. Normally, you don't see Stacy Ogman making that type of pass. Smokey McCovery coming in now for Mike Harris. They were surprised that Evans won the starting job. They thought Terrence Mullins, or this young man who just came in, Smokey McCovery, would be the guard opposite Skeeter Henry this year. Well, McCovery, put, though, good role player. They put Terrence Mullins, Mullins on the bench. He started a lot of games last year for them. He started 26 games last year and has not seen any minutes today. Anthony and the Rebels with the ball. A lot of time left. A lot of time. Five point Oklahoma lead. Johnson on the leaner. Ooh. Prime time shot. 29 points for Larry Johnson. Averaging 23 coming in. I wouldn't milk it. I'd go for the basket. Play your style. Put it up. That's it. Davis against Augman. And Davis wins out. That was smart. Anderson Hunt for three. Rebound for home. Hunt should have waited, but Johnson needs to get down court that time. Sooners. Take it around the horn. It's under a minute. They've got the five-point lead. I foul intentionally. Got a foul. What's foul? You got a foul. Foul, foul. Vice foul him. Why not? What's the difference? Vice fouls his fourth. No intentional foul is called. One in one situation for Terry Evans, and they start to celebrate at the Noble Center. Don't celebrate yet. You can go down and hit two three pointers. Now, if he makes both shots, it's different. But if he only makes one, it's only a six point spread. 37 seconds left. Oklahoma has led most of the way in the second half, but their largest lead of the entire game was only seven points. If you've just joined us, that's how close it's been since the outset. If Evans. Oklahoma wins, Joel, this will be the fourth time in a row that Billy Tubb beat the talk. The last four times out, that doesn't happen often. I know Georgetown's done it the last four times, too, I think, also. Or did it four times. Evans at the line. Three of three now from the strike. That wasn't the important one. This is the important one because it's two possessions. If T.E. makes this one, then it becomes three possessions, which becomes quite difficult with 37 seconds left. Then the crowd can really whoop it. Oh, missed it. All right, they got one timeout left. Now a three-point shot. Here we go. And then use that oh, timeout. Slapped in. away from Anthony. But yep. Covery with an offensive play and a follow-on bite. Give Smokey credit. Smokey was the one that got his hands in there. There he is. That's Gita. He's happy. The crowd now is enthused. Talk is saying to myself, hey, finally, starting next week, I get back 
Moses Scurry. I can back Butler, my All-American. I can move those forwards to the positions they belong. But he'll have them back for the final four. Skeeter Henry. He's the leader. He's the leader of the team. The crowd follows him. Oklahoma is good. They've got the Skeeter meter here. When Skeeter gets going, they get the meter going as well. He turns this crowd on. A six-point Oklahoma lead as they try to raise their record to 4-0. and Every place that Billy Tubbs has gone, he's been a champ. I remember at Lamar Tech before he came here. He's in the NCAA in Murphy Firth, Tennessee. They play Michigan State with the great magic and special K, Kelsa. When he brought the team out, they did two circles around Michigan State and warm up. His team went around, and Magic's looking at them. And then all of a sudden, Magic and Special K destroyed them. <laughs> Oklahoma in the driver's seat. Sports World, the IBF featherweight title fight. That's all next. Right after Oklahoma UNLV basketball. Anthony with the foul. They called that last one an intentional foul, finally. One-in-one one situation this time, though. Not an intentional foul. And he's going after the ball. If you're going after the ball, it's one one What a difference in the backcourt for these two teams. To me, Al, that's been the difference in the game, and this young man in particular, Terry Evans, the redshirt freshman from Oklahoma City. Total of 23 points so far. Make it 24. Skeeter Henry's got 17 in comparison to Anderson Hunt's 14 for UNLV and only eight for Greg Anthony. Terry Evans reminds me of Ernie D in Providence. He has good court vision, excellent passer. Young for three. Greg Anthony will try a three-pointer. Hardman with the rebound. I don't have a choice but to bring it back out. And it goes over to Smokey McCovery. So they'll count it down in Norman as the Sooners beat the Rebels for their 34th straight win at home. That shows this man's a coach. Billy Tubbs is a coach, a great coach. 